Then Insomnia has the best hot chocolates ever and they don't have it in UK and they don't have it well I don't know if they have it in UK but they don't have it in Belfast and I got my first hot chocolate and I'm like excited and while I went to get the hot chocolate I also went to Littles and it reminds me of my childhood because we used to come with our cousins and we used to buy these little cookies and donuts so I'm really excited to be here this is the old Dundrum shopping center we came here to get go to Littles and also get the hot chocolate and let me show you Dundrum this is like a landmark that is so what's the, what's the word for it I don't know like special or like known because this is the place you always pass so these chocolate donuts were the donuts we used to have all the time and i got this new donut to try as well and yeah these donuts are amazing they're like not too filling and they're like just perfect literally just perfect i don't think this is oreos but i'm not really sure but we'll find out these are the cookies they're like 59 cents they're like so cheap so that's two cookies so we're gonna go to the bank in a bit to sort out some bank stuff and then i don't know what the plans are but i'll keep you updated with our plans and guys if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe to my channel we need our channel to grow we need more followers we need more likes and comments my favorite favorite burrito ever in pablo picante so excited That man over there is having a swim. It must be freezing. The waves remind me of like the Sri Lankan beach. for parking and there was there's a few people in a car and they were started screaming you don't have to pay you don't have to pay it's actually really nice of them but yeah look at the roundabout continue straight to stay on Dunmore Road R683 sun goes down around 8 and it takes 40 minutes to get out the first beach the first if anybody can peep you'll see some potatoes in the back seat if you're from Ireland you know potatoes are like the best thing ever 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 this is like our childhood potatoes anyways you guys should try it if you're in Dublin or I mean if you ever go to Dublin these are something you need to try anyways point is we're gonna go to the beach and I think it, the first beach takes 15 minutes and then the second beach takes the rest of the time so 45 minutes minus 15 is that 25 yes yes so the whole thing takes about 40 minutes and hopefully it doesn't get too dark before we get there sun is setting so it's like a nice view and it's nicer for pictures as well uh, yeah I, we literally spent so much time in the other beach that we literally had to rush to this beach and uh, sun setting so we literally just about made it like literally just about made it because we want to take pictures here as well Guys, 
guys we managed to make it before the sunset but i think it's already setting but can you see like where my finger is there's actually people swimming here and i think the place is called kilmore and cove well at least i think that's what it's called if i can spell that right or pronounce that right that's me such beautiful views guys can you all see that tiny little thing where someone's swimming the sky is so beautiful it's like candy floss at least we made it before the sunset I was just making sure I didn't step on poop nope <laughs> oh my goodness guys like, take a look at the view we literally parked like I think it's called one more or some place like that and look at this kind of reminds me of cliffs of moor crazy driving off without me this is the main city we just parked because we're going to go to a restaurant like an indian restaurant but later on probably walk by the little i don't know what it is i think it's like a liffy like the liffy in dublin kind of thingy but it looks really nice there's some construction work going on but yeah i'll probably walk around it i'll see if i can take good videos the quality of the videos are literally nothing compared to like what you see so this new Kashmir Tandoori restaurant is the restaurant we're going to and I've seen the food on Google and it looks really nice so let's see what happens So we got some vegetable biryani and we have chicken tikka masala here not sure what that is and then we have some naan here so. so oh my god this trip was like literally one of the most stressful trips ever 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 well not really ever i think i've had stressful trips but like it was still a stressful 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 journey here the bank took so long, literally ages, then I went to get food and the food place, I did not like the food at all. It was so expensive and I didn't even end up liking it. It was like rice and different curries and then chips and like samosas and like just different random stuff and it wasn't that great to be honest and I, we kind of spent, kind of spent a fortune on it but oh well, what's happened has happened and yeah so I'm so tired, literally so so tired and the lighting's not that good here so turn back this way as you enter my bag everything's here and of course they have a little thing for like the tea and stuff that i can have during the morning i obviously had to buy some potatoes on the way this is what the room looks like i feel like the room is so much bigger than like usual hotels in the uk okay sorry not uk in ireland so we're in waterford at the minute oh my god is it just me or does like literally hotel bed sheets are like the comfiest and hotel beds are always so, so comfy guys, i'm just literally editing the video right now and i realized it's such an abrupt ending so if you guys are watching this video and you've come all the way here then thank you so much for watching this video make sure you like make sure you subscribe and leave a nice comment down below and i'll see you in the next video